So hi, in this video I'll show you how to basically stream to any Apple device, any AirPlay device using a Pulse Audio module for RAOP, which is a Remote Audio Output Protocol. So first of all, let's see which version of Linux I have. Uh, I think this is better, yes. So I have Linux Mint and 21.3. Now I did some updating to 22, but something happened and uh, it crashed a bit and I just said, fuck it, it works. Um, yeah, I, sh I should probably update it to a better version. But anyway, what we should do first is sudo apt and update just to be on the safe side. Okay, the next thing we need to do is actually install uh, Pulse Audio RAOP module, which is basically done with, okay, I have some warnings in here, but whatever. And I will be leaving in the description down below every command you need to run. sudo apt install pulse 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 audio okay module RAOP I'm using tab to autocomplete okay and this thing is only 164 uh, kilobytes so uh, let me show you now my audio devices in here which are these and basically now what we need to do is tell Pulse Audio to dynamically load the RAOP discovery module and we are doing that by using command PACTL so PAC sorry PACTL okay load module okay and now we have module RAOP RAOP um, discover and now when we press enter as you can see I have two devices and basically I can airplay now to my uh, this is my second generation HomePod, just by clicking in here. Now, for some reason, I need to close this window in order to play um, to HomePod. Otherwise, it does not work. I have no idea why, but there you have it. It does work. So let's make this thing persistent. And first of all, uh, this module does not load automatically. So uh, let me copy this thing. And let me see. This is the uh, PWD. This is my folder. So I will be creating... Um, load raop.sh which will be a script to load uh, to mount my uh, well um, speakers so okay vi okay let's let's use none <laughs> okay viop load raop.sh okay i'm sorry i have a phone call just a second okay and uh, okay what we should do next is uh, First of all, this is the uh, slash bin slash bash, slash bash. So, and now I will be pasting the command I have copied it because, uh, okay, there you have it. And now I will be pressing control O to save file and then control X to exit. I think even if I press control X, it will offer me to save the file. So uh, yeah, what am I doing? Okay, now what I need to do is chmod plus x which basically means I'm gonna make this uh, file executable okay and now we have an executable file which is kind of cool and now for example when you restart your computer all you have to do is type like uh, load ROP and it will mount it but let's make like a service and uh, let's make it uh, so that it starts automatically when your computer boots Okay, let's type sudo nano slash etsy slash systemd, I think, yes, systemd slash system. And let's create our service, which will be called load raop dot service. Okay, now inside we have a couple of, uh, sorry, fng, couple of things to write. So first of all is unit, which, where we will add our description which is basically airplay. You know what, actually, I already did this thing, so uh, let's not type it in vain. I'll just, uh, I'll just paste it and basically explain. Okay, now we have, a, and as I said before, I will, be paste, I will be leaving this thing in the description down below, so no worries. So basically this is the description, which is airplay, a graphical target, which is uh, when to boot, uh, basically user, this is my username, you will be obviously using your username and you can uh, if you don't know your username you can just type who am I and basically you'll get your username okay 
So your username, this is the environment and type is one shot, which means it will only start at once. And now this is very important part. Uh, exec start pre, which kind of uh, tells your uh, computer to sleep for 20 seconds after everything boots up because sometimes for some reason it just does not start but you can always use the sh from terminal to start it but if you like uh, increase this sleep time it will be a way better and now let's pr press ctrl o okay and now let's pr press ctrl x to exit so we saved it and exited and let's reload the daemon so sudo system ctl okay uh, daemon daemon reload and let's enable the service which is kind of necessary sudo systemctl enable enable uh, systemctl enable enable array op minus load dot service for some reason tab is not working uh, what did i call it mm -hmm. did i Okay, so system CTL enable. Did I do something wrong? Okay, I, I obviously written something wrong, but there you have it. Now it has been enabled and it is working. And once you reboot your computer, you'll have your speakers started and uh, you'll be able to stream to any AirPlay device. So I hope you like this video. If you did, you can uh, click thumbs up, subscribe. If you have any questions, as per usual, uh, leave them down below. And uh, yeah, this is kind of cool because now I can finally stream to my Apple device. So uh, until the next time, uh, thanks for watching and uh, thanks. Bye.